Hey guys, good evening everyone. Good morning if you're uh, outside of the Philippines or good afternoon. In uh, today's video, this is just a commentary based on the comment that I received in my previous video. So thank you, Magic Me. He dropped this comment asking me, Hi Miss JD, what are your thoughts on the wildcard scandal? Will it have a negative effect on BDO and BPI? Okay, so I just want to give a disclaimer, guys, that I am no expert at this. Uh, whatever comments I am going to share to you is just my personal comment about the situation, okay? And um, this is just a product of research. Okay, so first of all, we will uncover who Wirecard is and how come BDO and BPI's names uh, are involved in this scandal. That's what we are going to uncover today. Wirecard, BDO, and BPI. The case of the missing $2 billion. So as you can see, I checked the uh, chart of Wirecard today. And for the past two days, as you notice here, there's a drastic drop in the price. There was a heavy sell-off. And you know, when this thing happens, there must be something that's triggering that. Okay, so this is just a byproduct or a result of that scandal. So right now, I think that's already approximately 70% uh, decline from uh, its price uh, last uh, Wednesday. So this was a Thursday candlestick and this is a Friday candlestick and that's still ongoing. So I just did a screenshot today. So that's right around a 68% drop. Um, and there's a, a big news that's triggering that heavy decline. And what is that? Of course, um, Wirecard is a payment processing company. Uh, and uh, if you can research that, you'll find the uh, background of this company online. Uh, go ahead and do that. But this is a payment processing company. And uh, of course, the CEO is Marcus Braun. And uh, what happened today was that the CEO had to step down, resign immediately because he cannot um, locate that two billion dollars. So there's this auditing firm, Ernst and Young, who did the audit, and um, they just cannot um, explain where the location of uh, the two billion dollars. However, there was. Um, According to uh, this article, so I was researching, so if I may read this to you guys. So Wirecard claimed on Thursday that Auditor Ernst & Young couldn't confirm the location of the missing cash that was supposed to be held at two Asian banks and reported that spurious balance confirmations had been provided. The confusion deepened on Friday when BDO and uh, BPI said that the wire card or that wire card isn't a client okay so they are not linked so wire card is not a client of them so has nothing to do with them okay it was a rogue employee who falsified documents and forged the signatures of our officers so that's according to Nestor Tan and Wirecard is not even a depositor who have no we have no relationship with them. So the bigger question is, of course we have investments in these banks, right? So to answer the question of uh, our dear friend, uh, I would have to say that this is an isolated case. Even if the amount involved here is so huge, right? If the only involved, the only person involved here is an individual, that means that has nothing to do with the bank. So, so probably that's the reason why um, the CEO had to step down because he was a victim of fraud. At the same time, BDO and BPI were also victims of fraud. And the culprit here is that individual, that employee who forged, who forged um, documents. So, if I may, if I may just 
have a, a comment on this. Uh, probably there will be a slight decline in, in the price of our stocks uh, by Monday, but definitely this will not influence a, a drastic drop in the price like what happened to, of course, Wirecard. Wirecard will definite, definitely uh, uh, take on that hit because it's their client's money that cannot be located. So they are held accountable. That is why the CEO had no choice but to, to resign because he cannot, he cannot justify or he cannot locate those funds. And of course, uh, that's going to be a, a big hit on him and of course the um, customers, right? So another uh, article, this one came from, uh, I think, billionario.com. So Video Unibank says it is one of the victims. It is one of the victims in the Wirecard scam involving 2.1 billion in missing funds. We are not involved in the Wirecard affairs. Wirecard is not a client. We have no relationship with them. Video was used and is not party to the issue. To the issue said video president Nestor Vitan in a statement the document claiming the existence of wirecard account with video is a falsified document and carries forged signatures of bank officers the matter has already been reported to the Banco Central ng Pilipinas okay so just my thought um, for, for um, the Filipino investors of video and BPI I'd say you have nothing to worry they're not involved. It is just their employee who uh, did this, uh, I don't know, it's a, <laughs> yeah, I think that's it.